Drafting and a cutting of a trouser is something that is very easy and simple if you follow the right pattern. And if you have ever even been cutting a trouser and the front gator is not falling on the front, on the center, or when you iron the trouser, the material, the trouser is not properly laying away. So this is the right video for you to lay your hands on as I'll be taking you through the easiest, fastest and the simplest method on how to draft a pattern of a trouser. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the length we are using is a 34, while the waist is a 28. Then the thigh, the thigh of this uh, trouser we are making is a 22. So then the next thing to do now to on the next measurement you need is the hem line or the ankle and it does it a uh, six inches then the hip is a uh, 34 why the nail the nail is a uh, 16 inches the nail is a uh, 16 inches so this is the measurement we are using make sure you follow up through the measurements so without any further delay the first thing you need to do after you have laid the material in the two layers like this is to measure one inch at the upper part of the material measure one inch and roll it straight down roll one inch straight down then from that one inch you take the tape and you apply the length measurement the length is a 34 you apply 34 inches and take your hand front a bit and apply 34 as, as well so then you apply 1.5 inch which will be for the folding of the hem line 1.5 that's for the hem line then you roll the two straight line roll it to the true straight line so this is the easiest and the fastest method the perfect uh, pattern to cut uh, the trouser so make sure that you follow watch the video to the end to gain a lot from this so now to get the crotch line now divide the waist into four divide the waist into four then you add a one inch so i've done a comprehensive video on how to cut uh, get a crotch line of a trouser you can also check the video in the link in the description the box uh, below you can add one inch or you add a 1.5 so these are eight inches measure eight inches here as well then you roll it uh, straight roll eight inches straight so and that's the uh, the crotch uh, line that's the crotch line so now the next thing to do now is to apply the hip that's the crotch so apply the hip line so after you have uh, done this the next thing to do is to apply the hip and you can divide this into two that's eight divided by two that's giving me four inches so measure four inches and they're really straight so that is the point you get the center so this is the hip line so now to get the hip you divide the hip by four so divide the hip by four then you add a 1.5 to this so that's giving me 10 inches so that's giving me 10 inches so divide 34 divided by 2 that's a 8.5 that's 8.5 then 8.5 plus 1.5 which will be for the zipper allowance and the side uh, joining so that's giving me 10 inches so measure 10 inches as the damp part on the crotch line as well and you roll it straight roll it straight then the next thing to do now is to add 1.5 add 1.5 to the, from that uh, crotch line so this this depends on the waist size if it is a waist above a 30 you can make it a two inches so now let's apply the the waist measurement on the trouser so this is the waistline now so first minus a 0 0.5 from the side you minus 0 0.5 from the side and then you mark it then you apply the waist line so the waist is a 28 and then 28 divided by 4 plus uh, 1.5 which is will be for the zipper and the seaming allowance so that make it a uh, 9.5 inches so you measure 9.5 inches on the waistline and you place your ruler like this 
then you mark it straight so make sure that yeah the what's your mark cross come across the hip line so make sure the line come across the hip line a bit that it doesn't go deep inside too much so then you place the french cuff on it if you can you don't have a french cuff you can as well use a, a free hand to to draw this so now that is on the waist line so then you might know the 0.5 here as you know that a human shape on the waistline is not something that is straight so you have to give it a dash shape to avoid the bug on the trouser on the waistline so this to give the shape of the waist to the trouser so make sure you shape it like this then the next thing to do now is to get the center of the trouser so this is what will make the trouser ghetto when you iron it it will make it to fall on the center so make sure just divide it by two place the tape proof from the crotch line like that and divide it by two and that give me 5.7 measure 5.7 as well like this and you place your ruler to roll it uh, from up to down and you roll it uh, straight down roll it straight down like this the next thing to do now is to get the nail of this uh, trouser is to get the nail line so place the tape proof from this uh, m line and to the crotch area then you divide it by two divide the tape proof by two or you start from the crotch line to the m line and you fold it down divide it by two and you mark that point then you apply two inches upward two inches upward so from that point now you measure it from clutch line to know the exact measurement and that gives me 10.5 that's 10.5 so you roll that line straight and that is the nail line that is the nail of this uh, trouser so that's how to get a nail on the trouser so there's another method in which you can as well use to get a nail and i believe that is much more better and uh, accurate to get the nail line so but i give a comprehensive video on that on my trouser training so if you want to join the training you can just click check on the description uh, box uh, below so now this is the m line the m line is a uh, six inches so which is a uh, 12 inches divided by two giving me six inches so just divide that six inches into two and that give me three inches so place the three inches that center now place that three inches on the center if the m line is a uh, eight inches place the center of that inch eight inches on the center line so and that will give you the center of the trouser so now the nail line is a uh, 16 inches so 16 divided by 2 will give me 8 inches so the center of 8 inches now is a 4 inches so make sure that the 4 inches you place it on the center that uh, we roll and just roll this plate straight a bit so that the material will look smart and come straight a bit then you use uh, the curve to get that uh, shape you can as well use a free hand if you are you can uh, use a free hand you can as well use a free hand to achieve uh, all this so now make sure that you follow the pattern of uh, the curve the french curve that i'm using so that you have a very accurate and uh, perfect uh, shape on the trouser and that is it the next thing to do now is to cut it out sometimes i don't cut out this place so that i will have a excess on the on the flap but on this training i will cut it out so now that's how to draft the front panel so please if you derive any value in this video let me hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i drop an amazing video like this again and another thing you can do is to please let me hit the like button so that a lot of people will be able to, to gain from this uh, group so the next thing to do now is to place the material back on the on the back to get the the back panel so make sure that you turn the material inversely so the so i want to give a shout out to some of my subscribers today shout out goes to 
Aduo Dankor. Then Ekpe Isel. Please, Isre. Please, I'm very sorry if I didn't get that name correctly. So a very big shout out to you, my brother. Thank you for being there. Thank you for your support and thank you for the comments. I really appreciate. So if you want to get my shout out, all you need to do is to click on the subscribe button and drop your message drop your comments so that i'll be able to make a can get my shout out in my next video so now let's proceed so make sure you roll the all the lines like this then the next thing to do now is to apply the thigh measurements so you might not 0.5 here for seaming allowance so I'll measure 0.5 here as well for seaming allowance on both sides so then you might measure what's remain on the front that's a uh, nine inches on the back now you measure the you place the 9.5 inch on that uh, line we measure and you apply whatever you have there so the tie of this trouser is a uh, 22 so just mark it uh, add one inches to it for the maybe when you are weaving it and some other things you may end up uh, cutting out some part of the trouser and you apply two inches on the nail line and also two inches on the m line as well so this is a nine inches let me recross check for you to know understand the better so this is the back now i've gotten the nine inches on the front and what i need is a 22 inches so place that nine inches on the on the back now and you apply the add the one inches to it making it a 23 so that is how to get the the nail the thigh rather so then you can as well use a free hand to connect the the line so i'm using free hand to do this you can as well use the cuff to achieve this as well so now the next thing to do is to apply the waistline on the back and the hip on the on the hip line as well so just roll that line straight roll it straight to match with the line we are using there before so now apply the waist measurement and there is something that is very important here which will make your trouser to relax very well that means you have to raise the the bottom line upward so this waistline is a 28 and 20 divided by 2 4 will give us 7 and you have the the seaming allowance and the dart allowance which is a 0 0.5 and the seaming allowance at the back side which is a 1.5 so you raise the back up a little bit with a 1.5 and you you roll it straight roll it straight so that is it so the hip now the hip divided by 2 that's 34 divided by 2 will give us a 7 inches 17 inches so on the front one front and then one back make a, a crotch so up, leave a 0 0.5 on this side and then 1.5 on the zipper one inches on the zipper side so what i have there is a so you, that's a 17 that's 17 inches now that's where the 17 inches ended then you apply the seaming allowance on it so if i want to stitch it now that is where my stitches will come through then this will be for the seaming allowance which is a 1.5 just slant it a bit like this and that is it so this is the back this is the joining i will use to join it at the back line and that is this will be for the seaming allowance so that is how i will stitch it on the material so the remaining one now parts now will be for the for the seaming allowance that's what that will be for the seaming allowance so now the next thing to do is to cut the side that's a crotch line is to cut the crotch line so this is for the seaming allowance just cover it a bit like this and you can drop your hand down a bit so that that place will be the joining now will be equal when you do the final joining so now the next thing to do is to cut out the pattern on the trouser is to cut out the trouser so please if you derive any value in this video help me like the 
video and drop your comment as well so now just trim it out and as well click on the subscribe button and then make sure that uh, you follow me all across the social media and uh, that uh, noble fashion noble tea fashion so you can as well send me the video let me send me the picture of uh, what you have been able to achieve with uh, the training illustration we have been dropping in this uh, on this uh, channel so just trim it out like that and that is it so these are the remaining uh, pieces now this will be for the flap and chuck the back this is the flap and then you fold it so now the next thing to do now is to mm, is to notch the pocket mouth that's a 2.5 so that's for the back now so that's the back now divided by two that's the darts for the darts you notch it for the darts then the length of the pocket mouth now i'm making it a seven inches i'm making this a seven inches so chuck the back chuck the back as well chuck the back of the fabric so the next thing to do now is to cut the pieces this for the flap this is the, for the pocket flap to cover the mouth of the pocket so that the pocketing or whatever i use for the pockets will not be reflecting the outside so now the next thing to do is to cut for the band is to cut the band so now this trouser that i'm dropping the cutting now i will drop the video later on and the video the stitches the video of the sewing later on and the stitches or the sewing of this uh, trouser will be the trouser that have a taping on the side that have a stripe on the side so measure two inches for two inches like that and you divide the waist by two so 20 divided by two giving me 14 inches and add eight inches to it it's one two three four five six seven eight so that is a eight inches so add eight inches to whatever the waistline is after you divide it by two and that will give you what you need to use for the cut for the waistband so this is the remaining pieces and that is it for the for the band so please this will be for the stripe so please if you derive any value in this video let me drop your comments so let me drop your comment till i bring you another amazing tutorial on this uh, channel again this is your noble guy and i thank you for staying with uh, this channel and then uh, remain blessed till i bring you another amazing video like this again so thank you bye for now